So if you haven't heard, I'm having a launch party. Well, hello. Uh, if you have been keeping up with my Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, and all of that, then you know that this past week I had the amazing opportunity to host a launch party for Organizing for Action North Dakota. Uh, and it was a blast. Um, and so I wanted to quick talk about that. And then I've got some really cool uh, kind of sharing of stories type thing that I'm going to throw in at the end. Uh, but if you don't know what Organizing for Action is, Organizing for Action is a national grassroots campaign uh, that is dedicated to passing the legislative agenda that the American people voted for on November 6, 2012. Uh, so what that means is there are an issues-based organization that centers around community organizing and kind of grassroots movements to help get people involved locally so that they can make their communities a better place, make America a better place as a whole. Um, a lot of the things they're working on is, you know, gun violence prevention, uh, raising the minimum wage, the Affordable Care Act, kind of getting people signed up for that or getting the word out so that people will go sign up for that uh, and doing a lot of just really, really cool things in the community and then on the national scale as well. Uh, so that's what I've been busy doing for the past couple of weeks. Um, and we had the Grand Forks launch for kind of hopefully to start a chapter here uh, in North Dakota in the northern kind of part. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. We made some uh, little cookies uh, that had the, the Obama Organizing for Action logo thing on it. Um, and that was a lot of fun. I tweeted a whole bunch of pictures about that. Uh, but it was just a really good time to kind of get together and talk about issues and uh, kind of learn more about the organization and figure out what the next steps could be for our community here. Um, so you can help by liking this video um, or sharing it on your Facebook, your Twi Tumblr, your, your Twitter, like tweeting it to all your friends and, and doing really cool things like that. And you can help spread the word about this amazing organization that I'm very passionate about, if you haven't been able to tell. Uh, and then at the end of this video, because you're going to watch the whole video, right? Right? You're going to finish the video. Okay. So once you finish the video, you can then, uh, go over to my Barack, my dot Barack Obama dot com, uh, which is where you can kind of learn more about organizing for action or just Google organizing for action. Uh, that always works. Google's lovely. Uh, and you can figure out what are some events coming up in your area that you might want to get involved in. Uh, because one of the really cool things about this program is that it encourages you and enables you to get involved in what you want to get involved in and not really having to do anything else. So if you're really passionate about immigration reform, then you can go to events or help do things that are specifically tailored to immigration reform. Or if climate change is your thing, then that's what you can do and that's what you can focus on. It's really, really cool to get people engaged uh, in issues that they're passionate about so that way they start to get other people passionate about it and hopefully affect change that uh, will, will last and make our country better and our communities better. Uh, so that's why I'm really excited about it and I love it. Um, and that's kind of why I'm involved, uh, but I've got some videos of some really great friends of mine uh, who decided that they would kind of make a little video of why they like Organizing for Action um, and why they think it is a great organization. So I'm going to play those real quick. Uh, and then at the end of those, you can go to my.barackobama.com to learn more about Organizing for Action. Um, or check my, my Twitter or my Tumblr or my Facebook, because there's always stuff about OFA on there. Uh, and yeah, so, boy! What are some issues that Organizing for Action is helping to pass that you believe in? Um, I think one of the first things I'm really excited about is that we're working to protect and further the mission of Obamacare um, and making sure that all Americans have access to affordable health care and health insurance. Um, that's really important to all of us and we, um, we've fought it for so long that it's, it's, you know, we have to keep going and make sure that it is successful for many, many years to come. And I'm also really, really grateful that our um, country's leader is looking at working to make women equal. It's about time. We're now in 2014 and women are still making, I think it's 77 cents to the dollar. And that's ridiculous. Um, 
I deserve equal pay to the men that I'm working with, and I deserve an equal chance. And like we learned in our slides, women are primary breadwinners in their families, and they need to be able to make um, a good living for their families too. Awesome. Uh, and so what is something that gets you excited about organizing for action as a nonprofit uh, grassroots campaign? Yep, I think moving this to a nonprofit and grassroots nonpartisan organization is really going to help the organization speak to more people across the country, people in small towns, people in urban areas, um, everybody. This is encompasses all of America, and I think that's really important. Awesome. Thank you very much, Kylie. Yep. Is, uh, so why did you come tonight to an organizing, organizing for Action event? I think that Organizing for Action is a great opportunity for people to get involved with the community, um, especially on some pretty key issues. Um, one of the things that I learned tonight that I really care about deeply is the presence of immigration reform in there in the conversation. I had an opportunity to live in Mexico actually for a year working with the Movement for Peace, so immigration reform is something that's really near and dear and close to my heart. And finding ways to keep families together in the United States is really critical. I'm a person who cares about relationships and um, immigration reform is one of the things that can do that, so I care pretty deeply about that. Good. Uh, and so that would be an issue that you would be working with potentially with uh, Organizing for Action. Are there any other issues that you might want to get involved in with Organizing for Action? Sure. I think, obviously, the other big piece that they're talking about right now is the Affordable Care Act. That's something that's really critical as well for a country. Um, when people have to make decisions between paying their rent and paying for health care, that's something that's just plainly not okay. Um, so the Affordable Care Act is something that offers Americans opportunities to get insured and make better decisions with their own lives. Cool. So. I think that's it. Thank you very much. Yeah. See? Was I so amazing? You were lovely. Cookie update. So I made a whole new batch, and these actually turned out much better. They're still a little hard, but shh, we won't tell anybody. So here are my new cookies. Oh my goodness.